I'm gonna go ahead and tag a couple of pages real quick and then um I'll be right right back just like literally like a minute or less. back all praises uh, all praises all praises glory and honor <clears throat> unto the most high god all praise the glory and honor to uh the only begotten son uh, the messiah my king the most high it's glad to be amongst you on this what is this uh afternoon about to get in here and go ahead back into uh we're about to get back into um uh, maccabees man about to go ahead and get back into maccabees uh get some truth on today on this day since many want to celebrate this day as uh some great day right not knowing that this is the day that caused uh this is the day that the very day that caused the uh abomination of desolation that was spoken of in daniel uh, we went over that in the first video, right? This is definitely that abomination, that abominable day, man. And it's up to us to bring this day back uh, to our land, to our people, right? It's up to us to bring this day back to our land and to our people, right? Uh, we have to make sure that her, uh, a.k.a. Zion, is uh, uh uh back happy and perfect man for our land to be back filled so we have to bring out truth man no matter whose feelings that it uh hurt truth will be brought out uh because we as a nation we cannot no no longer keep living and seeing as far as our land goes and as and as far as us as a nation because see that brings us as a nation down it don't just affect one in uh, one individual it affects our land and it affects our people right so we have to bring truth to the four corners of the earth uh in order uh for the most high to look back at us as a whole nation as a whole man so uh want to get back into uh first i mean well this time we're going to second maccabees we already proved that the abomination of desolation is in fact this day matter of fact we're gonna go ahead and hit it real quick we're gonna um we're gonna go ahead and hit it hit it real quick we're gonna just do a quick real quick summary we're gonna go to the to the uh exact verse well a couple of verses to prove that uh this day is in fact the day right so we're gonna go ahead and hit this real quick and then we're gonna move on to show that this day is the abomination that made desolate man but uh whoever didn't watch video one get on get on uh uh part one and then, and i give all the scriptures to uh prove this we, we go to daniel we go to matthews we go to a couple others but 
we're going to just do a quick recap just to go straight to the uh, point on this one. Let's get into it, man. All right. First Maccabees 1. We're going to go all the way down to, I believe I want to go to the 50. Um, I'm sorry, not fit. Wait, this is second Maccabees. Let me go back to first Maccabees. Hold on. Let me get it in my box, in my uh, book first then. I want us to go ahead and start at 51. All right, we're going to start at 51. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, because where am I at? This is not it. Hold on. Right, we're going to go to chapter chapter one. My bad, guy. Chapter one, verse fifty-one, real quick, to just just to get to the uh, point. Chapter one, verse fifty-one. All right, chapter one, verse fifty-one. And it reads. Chapter one, verse fifty-one reads. Uh, wait. It reads, it says, in the self-same manner, wrote he to his whole kingdom. All right, so this is talking about Antipas, right? Uh, in the self-same manner, wrote he to the, to the whole, uh, to his whole kingdom and appointed overseers over all the people, commanding the cities of Judah to sacrifice city by city. Then many of the people were gathered unto them, to wit, everyone that forsook the law. Uh and so they co committed evils in the land. Who? This is talking about Judah in Israel, right? Many, many, um, uh, they forsook the the uh, covenant and joined them themselves unto the heathens. Okay. Um. All right. Fifty-two. To, uh, then many of the people were gathered unto them to wit every one. That forsook the law, and so they committed evils and in the land. All right, 53. Uh, and drove the Israelites into secret places. That's this is why uh we also this is the day of uh tap tabernacle. See, this this is why we go be intense as well. See, uh and 53 from the top, it drove the Israelites into secret places, even where uh where, wheresoever they could uh flee. For succor, all right. It said, and now the fifteenth day of the month, Kashlu. Okay, in the hundred forty fifth year, they set up the abomination of desolation uh, upon the altar, right, and builded idol altars throughout the cities of Judah on every side, right. And, say, and, and burnt incense at the doors of their houses and in the streets. And when they had rent in pieces the books of the law, so they tore the Bibles up. They tore the books up, which they found, they burnt them with fire. 57. Uh, okay. And it said, and, uh, and wheresoever was found any uh, with any the book of the testament. Or if any consented to the law, the king's commandment was that they should be put to uh, that they should put him to death. Fifty-eight. Thus did they by their authority unto the Israelites every month, uh, to as many as were found in the cities. Okay, fifty-nine. It says now the fifth and twentieth day. That's today, ain't it? That's today. It said, now the fifth and twentieth day of the month, of the, of the same month, Kashlu, right? Which is in December, guys, right? Uh, I, I'm going to start from 59 top again. Now the fifth and twentieth day of the month, they did sacrifice upon the idol altar, okay? Upon the idol altar, which was upon the altar of God, 
right? At which time, according to the commandment, they put to death certain women that had caused their children to uh, to be circumcised. They hanged the infants about their necks. They reveled their houses and slew them that had uh, circumcised them. Howbeit, many in Israel were fully, fully resolved and confirmed in themselves not to eat any unclean thing. Wherefore, they chose rather to die that they might not be defiled with meats and that they uh, might not profane the holy covenant. So then they died and these were uh, uh, was very great. I mean, and there was very great wrath upon Israel. All right. So we hear. So we see how um, many Israel, they just chose to just die versus just um, uh, defiling them themselves uh, with this day so i say to many out there that uh say oh well you know i really don't believe it this day but i'm doing it for the uh kids well no you're sacrificing you and your uh child see you're defiling your yourself and your uh kids by just uh uh trying to trying to throw your conscience for a swing and say oh well well this is for the uh kids no no bible said raise up your child in the way uh 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 um uh, that he should go and he sh and he should never depart from it, right? So if, if you if you raising your uh, child correctly and right, they won't even know of these holidays. See, see, they won't even know of these pagan days. Why? Because you putting the holy days before them. See, you're putting the original covenant there in which uh the Most High God, their God, right, has told them to follow these feast days for us as a whole nation, not. Oh well, I want to soothe my uh, self, so I'm 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 just doing this day, and I'm just going to eat it. I, I, I'm going to eat this and that on this uh, day for the for the kids. Well, you're just you're 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 sacrificing un, unto idols, man. You're sacrificing unto gods that that uh, that you're putting in in uh, that you're putting that you're saying. Well, I'm doing this in the name of kids. No, you're sacrificing them uh, kids in yourself. See, the most high don't care nothing about, oh, well, okay, well, you're going to do this for the uh, kids, so that's okay. No, that is not okay. See, see, we have to get back uh, as a nation. We have to get back strong as a nation again and uh, denounce these uh, things. See, that's why I'm on here today. See time for us to denounce this stuff man we we cannot keep going on and putting it in the name of somebody else right let's go ahead and turn over to uh the next chapter chapter two see first maccabees chapter two we about to get into this man Let's go ahead and get into this. All praises to the Most High God. All praises to the Most High God, the Father. All praises to His only begotten Son. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into chap chapter 2 now, man. All right. It said, in those days arose Mathis, the son of John, the son of Simeon, a priest of the son of Jerub from Jerusalem and dwelt in Modin. And he had five sons. Jo Joannin uh, called C Cedus, Simeon, and uh, called Thesis. Th th uh, Judas, uh, who was called Maccab Maccabeus, Eliezer called Abraham and Jonathan, whose surname was Aptius. Sorry if I'm butchering these uh names, I am <laughs> I'm not good with these uh names, so forgive me. All right, it said. And when he saw the blasphemies that were committed in Judah and Jerusalem, 
He said, woe is me. Wherefore uh, was I born to, wherefore, hold on. Wherefore was I born to see this misery of my people and of the holy city and to dwell there when it was delivered into the hand of the enemy? All right. So wait, do we see that our that our nation, uh, uh, that our land, it was handed into the hand of the enemy? Right. So this shows you that. Hey. Was we really brought on ships or did that ships in the English word mean something different then? See? See? Ships back then mean droves, meaning uh, people in large amounts. Huh? <laughs> huh? We didn't even have that type of... Uh, 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 them type of slave ships wasn't even uh, made back uh, then. See? So let's continue this because uh, let's just con let's continue this. It said uh, seven. He said, "Woe is me! Where wherefore uh, was I born to see this misery of my people and of the holy city, and to dwell there when it was delivered into the hand of the enemy, and the sanctuary into the hand of strangers? Do you see this?" The sanctuary was delivered into the hand of strangers, right? Her temple is become as a man without glory. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me uh, see, see something important. All right. Hey, her temple is become as a man without glory. Her glorious vessels are carried away into captivity. Her infants are, in, uh, are slain in the streets. Her young men with the sword of the enemy. So what is, what is this talking about, though? See? Who is the her? Huh? The her is the land, Zion. Let's, con let's continue. Verse 10, it said, what nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten of her spoils? Ooh, what nation? We, we could go, go to Psalms 83 right now and show you all the nations that were under uh, the, the, the tabernacle of Edom. And guess what? Israel was, was up in there as, as well. Who are strangers? Huh? We could we could go to Leviticus uh, twenty uh, twenty five right now and show you that Israel was also strangers. Why? Because they wasn't they wasn't uh, born in that land. They was born in the land of Egypt. See, another subject for another day. Verse ten: What nation have not had a part? Uh, not had a part in her kingdom. And gotten of her spoils. All her ornaments are taken away. Of a free woman, she is become a bond slave. See? For free woman, she's now become a bond slave. Right? So wait. Wait. What is America? Huh? They just they just showed a a, a a photo the other day. Hold on, I'm about to uh, um, I'm about to share. I'm about to share that uh, photo. That 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 uh, photo. Hold on, I'm about to, I'm about to share it. Let me see if I can send it. Hold on, real quick. Let's see if I can send this. Um, let me Hold on real quick. All right, let me see if I could. Cool. 
photos. Okay. Let me let me see if I could uh Let me see if I can. Okay, I'm at I'm at download it to hold on. Let me do this one more time. Save to my downloads. All right. Let me go ahead and do this. Downloads. Let's see if I got it. Hold on. Got it somewhere up in here. Just got it. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Let me try one more time. I don't know how to find this stuff, but hold on, let me because it should be having pictures right here somewhere. All right, let me see if I can do this this way then. Screen share. No, 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 screen share. Let me up let me see if I can upload something. Photos. There we go. All right. Well, won't let me do it. different way video file these are all videos okay it won't let me uh, show it Sure, I thought we could. Let me see. Let me see one more time. Let me see if I could do something. Let me pull my picture up. I think I could probably do it from here. There we go. All right. After all that time, I finally got it up. Y'all see this photo? They showing you right there. The bond slave. Right? This is America. The bond slave, man. Huh? This is what people in other countries have uh, made. How you're the bond slave. We just read that, right? Let's read it again. Let 
Das, oder? All right. Verse 11 says, Verse 11 says, All her ornaments are taken away. Of a free woman, she was free. She is now, she, she is become a bond slave. Right? And behold, our sanctuary, even our beauty and our glory is laid waste. And the Gentiles have profaned it. All the sons of Japheth have profaned our our land and our sanctuary, man. Right? It's being profane, family. See? 13 says, To what end? Therefore shall we live any longer. Then Mathis and his sons rent their clothes and put on sackcloth and mourn very sore. In the meanwhile, hold on. In the meanwhile, the king's officers, such as com uh, compelled the people to revolt, came into the city Modin to make them sacrifice. And when many of Israel came unto them, Mathis also and his sons came together. Then answered the king's officers and said to Mathis on this wise, thou art, a, thou art a ruler and an honorable and a great man in this city and strengthened with sons and brethren. Now, therefore, come thou first and fulfill the king's com commandment, like as all the heathen have done. Why do you say like as all the heathen have done? He said, yeah, and the men of Judah also such as uh, uh and such as remain at jerusalem so shalt thou and thy house be in the number of the king's friends and thou and thy children shall be honored with silver and gold and many rewards do you see how they always try to put something before you hey i give you this if you do this right i'll make you famous i give you money but you gotta bow down right that's why the Bible said, what would a man give in exchange for his only soul? Right? For his own soul. What will you? Nineteen. Then Matthew's answered and spake with a loud voice. Though all the nations that are under the king's dominion obey him. And fall and fall away everyone from the religion of their fathers and give consent to his commandments yet will i and my sons and my brethren walk in the covenant of our fathers see this is what we have to do today the most high god and the most high is looking for strong men that's going to stand up to the forefront right now and say we will not obey by your rules you know why because we're not going to see that's why script script scripture said fear uh, uh, do not fear them who was only able to hurt the uh, body you better fear him who was able to hurt body and your soul and your spirit and cast it into hell right you could take my body but guess what my spirit uh, 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 uh doesn't belong to you you don't have judge over that see you don't have judge over that that's the most high gods for what for me when I obey see his commandments better yet i don't even have to die here if the most high say uh uh uh, uh put words in my mouth look listen we're going to obey uh 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 the most high god's voice and it's only begotten the most high we we would not obey your so-called king aka president right we would not obey right your systems right guess what if they come, if they try to come up against us, the most high can send a legion of angels. They'll come down in real life on horses and start slaying for you. See, these are times in which we are living in right now, man. We can't, we, we, we can't be fearful, man. You, you might get a little fear 
uh, uh, adrenaline fear coming, coming up, but you got to come to your senses. See, you have to come to your senses. You got to, and you got to, got to tell them, no, I would not obey what you tell me to obey. I have to obey what my father in heaven tells me to obey. Huh? Twenty again. It says, "Yet will uh, uh, will I and my sons and my brethren walk in the uh, in the covenant of our fathers? God forbid that we should forsake the law and the ordinances. We will not hearken to the king's word to go forth uh, to go from our religion, either on the right hand or on the left." Now, when he had left speaking these words. There came one of the Jews in the sight of all, uh, uh, in the sight to all to offer uh, on the altar, which was at Modi, right? Uh, which was at Modi, according to the king's commandment. So this uh, Jew came forth and said, all right, look, if you won't do it, I'm going to uh, do it then because I don't want to be uh, killed. I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. Well, guess what? We can't be afraid these days. We have to stand for righteousness sake. See? The most high will send angels. What you think them stars are at night? That's over you. Those are angels watching over you. Huh? They looking at every uh, thing. Uh, Jews in the sight uh, uh, of all to offer on the altar which was at Moden, according to the king's commandment, for, uh, 24. Which thing was, uh, which thing when Matthew saw, he was inflamed with zeal and, and his reins trembled. Neither could he forbear, uh, uh, forbear to, to, sh to shew his anger according to judgment. Where, uh, wherefore he ran and slew him upon the altar. This is what the most high is looking for. See, are we able? Are we going to stand for righteousness sake and do his judgments during this time? See, are we going to stand for righteousness and do his judgment? This is when the most high will protect you. Yes. In the commandments, it said thou shalt not kill. That really means thou shalt not murder. See. See. There, there. there and also in Ecclesiastes, it said there's a time to kill, right? There's a time for everything. See? The Most High is about us doing his commandments, his law, not following whatever law they have set up for us, for you and, for, for you and I. But it's about his way, his will. See? We can't have weak, feeble men anymore. It's time for our nation to step up to the plate and we have to do what the most high God tells us and commands us follow his law. We have to bring the covenant back to our land. We have to bring the holy days back to our land and stand firm on it. See, this is times where we got to stand firm on this. See, this is not time to keep letting them get it. Uh, 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 tell us what happy holidays is. No, keep your happy holidays. I'm not for that. See, I'm for righteousness sake. See, yes, I have done many sins in my life. But guess what? It's time for me to stand firm on, on uh, something so that the most high can begin to bless me and take away all my sins that I have done. See, he said that he will forgive whom he will. Huh? Well, if we stand firm on something, if we stand firm on what his commandments are, his law. I guarantee you, we'll see his face like never before. We'll see, we, we, we'll uh, start to uh, see uh, things turn for us like never before happened. See? He'll bring them gifts back. Huh? We'll see angels riding out for us, with, uh, 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 for us, for the righteous ones. That's going to put their faith and their trust in them. See? Remember, he promised us eternal life. We have to hold him to it. But we have to do what we prop. Uh, we have to do his commandments and what our forefathers also promised as well. See, we have to do our part.
24 again, which thing when Matthew saw, he was inflamed with zeal and his reins trembled. Neither could he forbear to shew his anger according to judgment. See, that uh, it, it said according to judgment. So when, when the Most High said, what did he say? Hold on. Did he say do his judgments? Let me go ahead and bring that forth. Uh, let's go to let's go to a couple real quick. We about to go to uh, Le Le Leviticus real quick. Uh, let me stop screen sharing this. We're going to go to Leviticus. Uh, screen share the Bible. Um, I don't know why this. Hold on, let me. All right, let me have the screen share. Let's go to Leviticus twenty five. <clears throat> Leviticus 25, we're going to start at verse, let's just go straight to verse 18. It says, uh, wherefore ye shall do my statutes and keep my judgments and do them, right? And do them. And he said, and ye shall dwell in the land in safety. Why? Only if we keep his judgments, his statutes in judgments and do them he said right as long as we do them right let's go to psalms real real quick psalms 147 see it's a righteous thing man because they call it righteous these other na these other nations call it righteous when they slew us right without cause they take crafty counsel man go to their courts man and they what they they don't find themselves guilty right he said he shows his word unto jacob and his statutes and his judgments unto israel he said he hath not dealt so with any nation and asked for his judgments they have not known them so when they do their judgments, they're making up their own laws against us, the, the, the uh, natives here, man. See? They're making up their own laws to go against us. Let's go to one more. Leviticus 18. All right. Let's just start at three. It said, after the doing of the land of Egypt, wherein ye, ye dwell, shall ye not do. And after the doing of the land of Canaan, whether I be, uh, whether, uh, whether I bring you, shall ye not do. Neither shall you walk in their ordinances. Verse four, this is what I want. It said, ye shall do my judgments. Hold on. It said, ye shall do my 
judgment and keep mine ordinances to walk therein. I am the Lord your God. Right? Right? He said, I am the Lord your God. You have to walk and do his judgments, man, in order to dwell in safety in this land. Ain't no other way around it. No other way around that. See? No other way. Let's go ahead and go back over here. Okay, so according to uh, according to judgment, wherein he ran and slew him upon the altar. 25, also the king's commissioner who compelled men to sacrifice, he killed at that time. In the altar he pulled down. That thus dwelt, thus dealt uh, he zealously for the law of God, at, uh, like as Phoenix did unto Zimbria, the son of Selim. Uh, and Mathis cried throughout the city with a loud voice, saying, Whosoever is zealous of the law and maintaineth the covenant, he said, Let him follow me, right. Let him follow me. Man, and if you zealous of the law in the covenant, man, we have to follow what's right. Okay. He said, let him follow me. 28. It says, so he and his sons fled into the mountains and left all that they uh, left all that ever they had in the city. Wait, 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 wait. Doesn't that precept with uh, something? Let's. Let's go to uh, Matthew 24. Let's go to Matthew 24. Don't, don't, don't that preset with something? Matthew 24. Let me, I don't know the verse, so let me just, uh, I think it's 15 though. Yep, right here. He said, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, right? The abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet. It says, stand in, and stand in the holy place. Whosoever readeth, let him understand. I would now we already got the uh, keys to what the abomination of desolation is. So now when we read and we're understanding that, it says, then let him which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Right, let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house, neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. Say, so, Woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. Pray that your but pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be um, a much great trip. For then, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Right. So he flew. So he uh, fled. Because why? Scripture. Right. This is scripture explaining what happened in the Bible. Now we're going back to Maccabees. All right, 28 says, so he and his sons fled into the mountains and left all that ever they had in the city. Then many that sought after justice and judgment. Uh-oh, justice and judgment. Went down into the wilderness to dwell there. Both they, their children, their wives, and their cattle, because afflictions increased sore upon them. Right? And now when it was told the king's servants and the host that was at Jerusalem in the city of David, that certain men who had broken the king's commandment were going down into secret places in the wilderness, they pursued after them with great them a great number. And having uh and having overtaken them, they camped against them 
and made war against them on the Sabbath day. And they said unto them, let that which ye have done here unto suffice. Come forth and do according to the uh, commandment of the king, and ye shall live. But they said, we will not come forth. Neither will we do the king's commandment to profane the Sabbath day. See, the, the, the Sabbath day uh, uh, is a commandment, see? So there were there there were ones that uh hey no nah, we we're, we're not doing such and such on the on the Sabbath day because you know why because the father instructed this is his holy day see so they were they were rather had died than to uh uh disobey the most high God see in the most high see 35 says, so then they gave them the battle with all speed. How be it they answered them not, neither cast them a stone at them, nor stopped the, the places where they, they lay they lay hid, but said, let us die in our innocence. These are the ones who are under the golden altar crying, how long, how long, oh, how long, oh God, doest thou truth, uh, uh, doest thou avenge the blood, right? These are they. That are crying that. See? These are the ones under the golden altar right now. Crying how long? Shall justice and truth, shall justice and judgment come? Huh? Oh, that day again of the battle was coming. And it's coming swiftly. It said, heaven and earth will testify for us. Why? Because the angels, they see. This had to happen though. Be because of uh, 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 our disobedience, though, see? This had to happen. It wasn't time yet, like it is time time now. So this had to happen. Is it that we put, that they put, uh, that, that ye put us to death wrongfully? So they rose up against them in battle on the Sabbath and slew them. With their wives and children and their cattle, to the number of a thousand people. Thirty-nine. Now, when Matthew and his friends understood her hereof, they mourned for them right sore. And, and one of them said to another, "If we will do as our brethren have done, and fight not for our lives and laws against the heathen, they would now quickly root us out of the earth." At that time therefore they decreased saying whosoever shall come to make battle with us on the sabbath day we will fight against him neither will we die all as our brethren that were murdered in the secret places then came there unto him a company of assadians hold on Sadians, who were mighty men of Israel. See, this is another tribe uh, uh, that was in Israel. See? Many names because we was in certain areas. See? See? Many names because we was in certain areas. So here comes some, some Israelites that weren't wick wicked, that weren't bowing down and following the uh, king's law. See? Who were mighty men of Israel, even all such as as were voluntary de, uh, de, devoted unto the law. Also, they also all that they fled. Hold on. Also, all they that fled for persecution joined themselves unto them, and were a, see when we start doing things right, uh, uh, and showing our light. This is when people are going to are going to see, see. We can't keep uh uh sitting back talk talking about uh things going on the street street corners and fussing at uh folks that, uh, and y'all call that the the uh work that's not the work see we have to really begin to do the real work out here changing folks hearts we have to become begin to come together as a nation I don't care if it start off with 10 50 100 
it's going to spread when they see that we are taken care of in the most high God us because we're doing his commandment rightfully. See? Then the word was spread. This, this is how we got to start back and get back into our covenant. Get back to doing the Sabbath days uh, uh, right. All the uh, feast days. See? Observing new moon. No, the new moon is not a full moon. The new moon is a, a moon that you can't see. Why? Because it is becoming new again. So how was the how was the full moon a new moon? See? See? It's darkened. You can't when you go outside, you're not supposed to see it because it's coming new again. See? So when we begin to do these things, even as we start off as a small group, it will grow because the fame will grow around throughout the uh, world of what this group of people is doing. See? They would come join they themselves again to the covenant and be ready to fight for for uh, uh for what's right for the for our land back for our covenant the covenant that was made with who Abraham Isaac and Jacob about our what our land that was given away <laughs> huh that's what the covenant is. Our land that was simply given away, that was promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Forty-three. He said, "Also, all they that fled for persecution joined themselves unto them, and were a stay unto them. So they joined their forces and smote sinful men." in their anger, and wicked men in their wrath. But the rest fled to the heathen for succor. Do you see how this battle was ongoing? So how did we all come on ships from Africa to America? No. As we read in chapter one, our land was, uh, we are strangers be because they took the feast days and the holy days and the covenant out of it. So when as we was uh, having having kids, we didn't know the I know I didn't grow up knowing a feast day at all. I grew up knowing what Christmas was. I grew up knowing what Thanksgiving was, what Valentine's Day was. This is how I I became a stranger to my land. See, I became a stranger to my land because uh, they polluted it and changed laws and everything. That's how I became a stranger to my land. See, it's not that this was their land. It said Esau was a vagabond, right? He go around stealing and pillaging. Huh? O open up your eyes. Stop letting them tell you that that Ham's land is your land. Stop letting them tell you that you became a stranger to this land because the laws in the covenant in, uh, 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 in the ordinances was taken out of your land. As we were born, we didn't know the holy days. We only knew the hella days, a.k.a. the pagan days. That's how we're stranger to our land. See? Let's get back. 46. And what children soever they found within the coast of Israel uncircumcised, those they circumcise willingly. See, so he, so we get, uh, uh, so Matthew went back and started preaching the gospel to these to these folks. They starting, let's start back circumcising your heart. And in, 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 in I'm going to believe they was they were circumcising the actual foreskin as as well. I, I I don't know, but I'm pretty sure. Forty seven. They pers uh, they pursued also after the proud men. And the work prospered in their hand. See, the work it prospered. Why? Because they had the Most High God on their side. Why? Because they kept the they kept the judgments. That's why they did His judgments. When you do everything that the Most High tell you to do, uh, you're gonna be you're gonna be led in righteousness. See, that's when you're being led in righteousness. See.
48, it says, so they recovered the law out of the hand of the Gentiles and out of the hand of kings. Neither suffered they the sinner to triumph. 45 says, now when the time drew near that Matthew should die. Their great leader about to, about to go off the scene now. He said unto his sons, now have pride and rebuke gotten strength. In the time of destruction, in the time of wrath, um, wait, in the wrath of indignation, said, now therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law. He said, and give your lives for the covenant of your father. What he's saying is give your lives for your land. What was the covenant that was given to them? Your land. Huh? What was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? The land. So he said, give your life for the covenant of your fathers. 51, he said, call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. What did they do? They did war over their land, right? He said, so shall ye receive great honor in an everlasting name. 52, was not Abraham found faithful in, in, uh, in temptation and it was imputed unto him for righteousness? Joseph, in a time of his distress, uh, kept the, the, the uh, covenant and was made Lord of Egypt? Why? Because he, he kept the covenant, see? 54. Hold on. Hold on. Fifty-four, Phoenix, our father, and being zealous and fervent, obtained the covenant of an uh, of an everlasting priesthood. This is Jesus, but uh, right here, uh, this is talk talking about Joshua. It said, "For fulfilling the word was made a judge in Israel." Right? It said, "Fifty-six said Caleb." bearing witness before the congregation received the heritage of the land right 57 david for being merciful possessed the, the throne of an everlasting kingdom right elias for being zealous and fervent for the law was taken up into heaven and ananias oh wait right here this is Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. This is their real. This this is their real name, right here. Ananias, Azaris, and Misho. This is this is Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, right here. It said, "By believing, we're saved out of the flame." You gotta have faith, man. It says, "60 Daniel, for his in, uh, for his intercy, uh, was delivered from the mouth of lions," right? was delivered from the mouth of lions, right? All right. Hold on. Fifty-one. And thus consider ye that throughout all ages that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. Do you see? We have to put our trust in them wholeheartedly, man. Wholeheartedly. See? It said, fear not. Then the words of a sinful man, for his glory shall be dung in worms. <laughs> dung in worms. Boy, gonna be in that grave, man, for being a sinful man. 63. Today he shall be lifted up, and tomorrow he shall he shall not be found. 
because he is returned into his dust and in his thought is come to nothing. Wherefore, ye, uh, ye my sons, it said, be valiant and shew yourselves men in the behalf of the law. For by it shall ye obtain glory. And behold, I know that your brother Sim, uh, uh, Simeon, uh, uh, Simeon is the is a man of counsel. Give ear unto him always. He shall be a father unto you. As for Judas Maccabees, he hath been been mighty and strong, even from his youth up. Let him be your captain, and fight your battle, and uh, and fight the battle of the people. Take also unto you. All those that observe the law and avenge ye the wrong of your people. See, we're supposed to be avenging the wrong of our pe people, man. Man. We're not supposed to be letting people uh, uh, harm our people. See? That's doing his judgment. See? That's obeying his word. But no, he ain't gonna come. You you can't look for him to come back if you still uh 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 uh, uh doing wrong to your people yourself. So how you gonna avenge him of somebody else if you doing if you doing them uh wrong? See. Recompense fully the heathen. Man, many, man, many, 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 many of y'all love them to death. Y'all love the heathens. Y'all love these gen Gentiles, man. Y'all love these aliens, man. Y'all don't want to re recompense them. Y'all want to see how you can live peace, peaceably with them. You want to cry to them and, and and ask them for some uh piece of uh something. Uh uh uh. Can I just have, Master? Can I can I please just uh have uh this? Can you? Can you give me reparations? Man, no, we come to take back what was ours, man. I'm not asking for anything. Say, recompense fully the heathen and take heed to the commandments of the law. So he blessed them and was gathered to his fathers. And he uh, and he died in the hundred uh, forty and six year. And his sons buried him in the sepulcher of uh, uh, of his fathers, Amodian, and Israel made great limitation for him. Let me, I want to go somewhere real quick. I want to go somewhere real quick. I want to show y'all what we're supposed to be sacrificing. What is the sacrifice? So that all Israel will be put on notice, man. All Israel got to be put on notice. Hold on, hold on, real quick. All right, all praises, all praises. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I want to show us something, though. Uh, let's just start at one. I'm going to just start at one through uh, eight. He said, then, uh, the bro this is 2 uh, Maccabees chapter one. 2 Maccabees chapter one. It said, the brethren, the Jews, that be at Jerusalem and in the land of Judea, wish unto the brethren the jews that are throughout egypt health and peace so wait if we was all going through our our land why see we got to understand what scattered means we got to understand what that means huh we got to understand what scattered means <laughs> because they don't mean went to another continent man it doesn't mean that 
in first Maccabees one, it tells you where uh what happened that they let that that uh, yeah that they became strangers because uh they were still being born in the land, but they wasn't being taught the law because the law was gone from the land. Some of them did uh 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 move out. That's that's like me moving from uh Cal California next next door to the neighboring city. That's what it meant that they did. So if we from Africa, shouldn't we all still be in, be in, be in Africa right now? Hold on, I'm I'm looking for for something real real quick. Real quick cuz I had read some last night. Looking for something real quick. But let me just finish uh this. It said, all right, uh, two, it said, be gracious unto you and remember his covenant that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, his faithful servants, and give you all the heart, wait, and give you all in heart to serve him, and to do his will with a, uh, with a good courage and a willing mind, and open your hearts in his law and commandments. See, open, see, that's why he said, I'm going to write it uh, on your hearts my law right and send you peace verse 5 said and hear your prayers and be at one with you and never forsake you in time of trouble see we have to keep these things in order for her, for her, for us for him to uh, hear us and see us we going we think we being blessed blessed now let's do a little bit more of his commandments and laws and judgments and not have fear but have faith and watch everything be uh, uh watch everything turn even more for even more for us we think we're doing some some something now nah verse six says and now we be here praying for you seven what time uh, what time has demetrius uh uh, uh reigned in the hundred three score and ninth year we the jews wrote unto you in the extremity of trouble that uh that came upon us in those years uh from the time that jason and his company revolted from the holy land and kingdom watch this eight says and burn the porch and shed innocent blood then we prayed unto the lord and we heard we offered also sacrifices and fine flour. Right? Hold on. And fine flour. Enlightened the lamps and set forth loaves. Your sacrifice was bread. Why do you think David always had the shoe bread there? It wasn't to sacrifice the animal, but I, I'm doing a video on that uh, maybe tomorrow. All right. It said, watch this. And now see that you keep the Feast of Tabernacles in the month cash loop. That's this month, right? Right. So some so some say that they can't find uh, the, the Feast of Dedication in the Old Testament. Is there? Is there? You just gotta watch gotta watch out for that scribe's pen because it gives you the wrong month. See, it gives you the wrong month, but it's in Leviticus 23 and 27. See, where it where it where it says on on the 15th day, right? That's the that that's the feast of dedication right there. All right, I want to go. Uh, I want to go over real quick to to approve all things. Let's go over to um, uh, Ezekiel real quick because I want to prove that uh, the the four corners of the earth doesn't necessarily doesn't necessarily mean uh, continents thing going on. Let me show you something. Let's go to Ezekiel. Ezekiel seven. Ezekiel 7 real quick. Watch 
Watch this. Jigo 7, verse 2. It reads, Also, thou son of man, thus saith the Lord God unto the land of Israel, right? Unto the land of Israel. In end, the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Remember, we wasn't just standing in one little wall of one little place. The altar was set at one place. The altar was set at one place. In one little uh yeah spot. That's where the altar was. Or 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 sorry, David's throne, the city of David, right? But the land uh covered a a, a whole vast of land, it wasn't just one little area. So the four corners of the land. <laughs> See? Oh man, all oh, praises to the most high, man. Um, but yeah, we must in fact do his judgments in order for him to turn his face back to us. We have to become a people that are that no longer fear. We can't have fear running through our blood, running through our mind, running through our uh uh, uh nothing. We must do his judgments, we must be the light unto the whole world so we might have to start small because everybody might some 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 folks might not un understand but guess what uh, 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 as that group of men and women get together right then we can inspire others throughout the whole world because it said that the gospel has to be preached throughout the whole world man then the end shall uh, come so all praises unto the most high god to the father and all praises unto the most high man his only begotten son my king uh all praises glory and honor shalom <laughs>